Hey, this is Jordan Belfort, the real Wolf of Wall Street, and you're listening to The Anthony Rogers Show. Welcome back to the greatest show in the world. Uh, today we have a very special guest, June Ann, <laughs> uh, from Shh.com. And we'll describe the title later. It's in the links. It'll be on the YouTube link. It'll be in the podcast link if you listen on streaming services. Uh, welcome to the show. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. For sure. I feel like we've done this three times now because uh, the, the, the formal introduction, but the first time for the listener. So uh, Practice makes perfect. Yeah, now we're experts at that. Uh, welcome to the show. For real. And then uh, tell us, tell, let's get straight to the point. Tell us about the film you created, basically. And then uh, a little about the, uh, go, let's start there. Uh, Mirror Game, basically. Yeah, so I can't, I can't take any credit for the creation. <laughs> it was a beautiful script um, that was um, created by Sarah Valmont. Um, and she's down in New Orleans. And then it made its way up to the shush.com studio. Um, up on the East Coast, the Northeast Coast. And then um, they brought me in as the lead actress. So I got to play Giselle and kind of like the, the, the gist of the movie or the elevator pitch of the movie is Giselle kind of finds this. She's kind of one of those that's very kind of like submissive to her husband. Um, kind of, you know, she's going along with a move that is for his job. She's very, you know, like their life is focused mostly with him driving it. And so she comes across um, a supernatural um, force that basically serves as a mirror and helps her find the side of her that releases those inhibitions and becomes a fiercer version of herself. That's heavy as fuck. And you're on the cover too. So you're like, you're like a fucking star. Yeah, like, it was, it was my first time, you know, getting to carry like a, a really, a script with, you know, emotional development of the character and everything. So it was really, it was a great experience. It was super fun. That's awesome. So how did you get into this? I guess, uh, like film or whatever. Yeah, well, I've actually worked with the um, studio owner for, over a decade, probably about 13 years now, between this, um, between her studio and a, another studio she works closely with. So I've kind of been in the realm of, um, I film with them probably once, twice a year. So I've been filming with them quite a bit. So um, when this role came around, this is the one that Angie thought Angie, who's the owner of shush.com, and she produced and directed the movie. She's the one that thought this would be the role that <laughs> should be my 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 first attempt at a you know a real a real character. Cool, and these are like softcore porn as well. Like what is, I like is um, what would you consider that as well? Like I'm looking through the site and then like, yeah, what? I would probably consider it adult cinema. Adult cinema, okay. So it um you know, where sometimes it's debatable if softcore porn has penetration or not. That <laughs> would be the one, know. yeah. That would be the um, one. This definitely, you know, it's definitely penetration. It's definitely not going to be focused on um, satisfying the male viewer. So if you're looking for, you know, pop shots and penetration for 30 minutes, this is not your gist. Um, but... If you want to see a beautiful storyline come to life in a very cinematic way that generally adult entertainment does not um, kind of cater to, this is something definitely to check out. Even if you like the hardcore stuff, this is going to be that thing that, you know, you might be watching the most hardcore porn by yourself in your bedroom. But this might be the thing that you're actually going to watch with your loved one or your spouse or your partner. And this might be your first time you're watching like erotica together or porn together. So it's huh. kind of a, a uh, you know, it's, it's a unique piece of media because of that, I think. 
that is definitely interesting. I think that's where film is going to go because of like, I mean, you look at Pornhub numbers. I mean, you look at uh, Hollywood numbers. I mean, I, I think it's like, I think you're going to see like uh, just basic math, like that like eventually there's going to be more porn in cinema. If you would, call, I don't know if that's like edgy to even call it that, but like just more sex in film, I guess, to be more honest. I think yeah, I, and I think it. as we get more of the programming um, with places like um, Netflix and Amazon Prime, there are more open to these like, 45 minute films and you know films that don't necessarily meet the normal requirements or their independent studios it kind of gives them a platform um to submit at least and be seen and i think um because of things like that um what we are going to be open to seeing is possibly more of that yeah so this could be like uh, the beginning of like a genre like like in film class when they show you like the train coming at you that's like the beginning of like american hollywood cinema like this this could be like a next like kind of uh move like when they went sound or they went like color you know it's like it's just like the gradualization of like i mean i so i think that's holding american culture back is a lack of like sex and film i think i think like uh, they they they're like the, they're like the opposite of like most cultures like they want more violence but oh, I'm, yeah, not, yeah. I'm not against violence either but i'm saying we should be able to have entertainment <laughs> like like regardless of like whatever yeah, the, I mean, the censorship that's put on entertainment and literature and art in this country, this country that's like supposed to be so free and they tout their freedom, <laughs> it's it's a little bit insane. <laughs> no, it is. Every once in a while, you got, you got to argue for it again. <laughs> like, you know, every once in a while, you got to, every couple of generations, you got to be like, what the fuck? Like, you got to just call it out and be like, this is ridiculous. Like, but it's cool to see something innovative. Like, this is like not like a, I like seeing people do stuff that's like not normal. I have, I'm gonna be honest with you, I haven't seen the films. I've been rushed and I wanted to, I wanted to do my homework better, but I, like, I, I feel like a cheap, a cheap host and not watching it first because I do have a link and stuff, but I, I will watch this and like, I like the concept and what I, like, what I just, what I did, what I did is like read about it and stuff. And it was like, I mean, just for like homework and stuff. And it, it seems like innovative, like to me. And I need to see it personally because I'm kind of impressed that this is actually like a network that does something like this. It's kind of like, uh, it reminds me of like, uh, I don't know, the equivalent of like late night cables a kid almost, <laughs> like the concept of that, but like, but like, edgy, I guess like further now. Yeah, absolutely. And so this company that produced this, they've sent, um, so this film hasn't had its chance to go to the festival circuit yet, but they've had past films that have gone to a bunch of different independent film festivals and have performed really well, if not, you know, one. So um they're definitely doing um something that can be definitely considered porn but they also can take that same piece that same film and create a safe for work edit and then actually submit it you know and package it for you know um what might be not milder but more film festivals that aren't geared towards erotica and still perform well so that's really that's not something that your tube sites can give you you know no, and that's what really sets it apart no it's creative as fuck yeah no i, I like that because it's like a it's like an interesting concept and like uh and it's funny how like how just like you just seem like I, I I hate using the word like a normal person, but like you just have like this vibe, and then you're just in this film having sex. It's like just funny to me that like, you're marketing a film of you having sex, but you seem like a just a like just I don't know, just I don't know how to describe it, like a normal person type thing. It's yeah, like, I mean, and that's what I love like, about. You just chill as fuck about it. Yeah, and that's what I love about the studio that they're, you know, not they don't necessarily go after the big name porn star to like star in their films they really work with people that you know they've trusted for years and that they have a relationship with and the fact that they you know they're not scared to put someone that's a little curvy and all natural in their film as the lead and i i, I love that because i love celebrating you know natural women and just women that embrace their natural curves and so i think that um also kind of sets them apart for some other studios that might you know go for the bigger names and and things like that and to see that go to uh, shush shush.com <laughs> with a uh, <laughs> mirror game and uh and to spell that uh is sssh.com like a uh, uh, yep, three s's Check out the film. It'll be it'll be in the YouTube link below, and it'll be like if you if you're listening to this on streaming, you'll you can click a link as well. I'll I'll link everybody to the website link and stuff. Um, 
But no, it's crazy. Like, it's like, I do think it's like uh, the next kind of thing in film. It's interesting. Like, uh, are you from St. Louis or the owner from St. Louis? I heard. No, I am from St. Louis. That's crazy. Okay. Yeah. I, I read that in the emails. That's all. That's all. What part of St. Louis are you from? That's, that's not creepy as fuck. Like, well, I'm not from, I'm actually from Mississippi, okay. but I live around Forest Park right now. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm in South City too. That's crazy. Yeah. Small world. I'll be at your house yeah. in five. I'm joking. Like, we're going to take an interview in person. I'm joking. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> I it's funny because this is the second interview that I've booked since I've been doing press for this movie where the interviewer, where they were from St. Louis as well. That's awesome. I could see it being like, well, I could see that like uh, going well at the St. Louis market, to be honest with you. I think they're more open to stuff like this and, uh, and like innovative. It was just like an innovative kind of idea, I think, for, for uh, film. It's like, a, I mean, it's been done before mildly in certain ways, but not penetration. And, you know, it's, it's, it's different now. And like there's storylines. Is there storylines and stuff, I'm assuming? Oh, it's heavy story. That's what I was assuming. Okay, that, that's the vibe I got from your, when you first said that. I need to watch this. How, how long is this film? It's like 45 minutes, you said? Yeah. And okay. it's incredibly cinematic, too, because, um, I mean, it's filmed with, like, 5K Red. So this is what they're filming, like, Paramount and Columbia, you know, like, the big movies with. The, this is – so it just technically, the lighting design, the sets, the – just the technical aspects are amazing. That's They're just I, amazing. There are special effects in it that are really cool as well. That's the vibe I was getting. Like I could kind of like without seeing, I almost understand what you're saying. I and I'm definitely gonna watch. Uh, so let's go. Cool. When did this come out? Like, is this a recent release or something? Yep, it just came out in the um, like about a week ago, and it's actually kind of perfect that it came out around now because it's the perfect Halloween film. Like, if you're sitting at home, there's no new Halloween films out. You already watched, what is it, The House on The House of Bly Manor or whatever, that one film that came out on Netflix. If you've already watched that, you're, you're out of Halloween. This is what you turn on. This is what you get. Yeah, that's crazy to think about. Because it's the perfect, it's the perfect Halloween porn. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect trick and treat. <laughs> that's hilarious. That's funny. That's a funny pitch. I've never heard that, like, uh. That's definitely interesting. So, um, what do you need to do to to get watch this movie? Like, well, how do people? Uh, like, I know you go to the website. You click on like, uh, do you have to be a member of the website first to watch this movie? Um, so I believe so. I believe you just go to shush.com and you would sign up there, and you can watch it in there. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. You cool. You watch it for like anywhere from like four to one hundred, like depending on what you want with this membership. That's interesting. Oh, yeah, I was looking at that. So yeah, cool. Like four bucks, you basically watch the movie at least once. Try it out at least. I mean, but if you're yep. if you're not poor, you can give them more money. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> if you're not broke as fuck, but uh, <laughs> and that's a lot cheaper than a lot of those Amazon movies that you rent now. I go to there and I'm like, they're like twenty dollars, and I'm like, holy crap. <laughs> I know that's why. Yeah, I still I still release free movies. I'm in a movie on Amazon coming out next week or, or two or some shit like that. Like, it's um. That's not my interview. I need to get back to your. Uh, so, man, I just like start talking about it. Like, the worst interview of all time. Like anyway, like about like, that's just the worst fucking interview ever. Sorry. Uh, yeah. No, but you're on the fucking cover. That's legendary. I'm gonna put that in this shot right here. Like I'm just like. Now we're back from seeing that shot. Yeah. Now we're back from seeing that. You were just on the cover. That's crazy. Like, that's gonna be awesome. Like uh. That's, good. that's an honor to be on the movie cover, I think, personally. Like, I think that's, like, I'm a, I'm a film nerd, so, like, I, I like seeing, like, the whole aspect of it more. So, like, uh, like I think it's just cool. Like, uh, what, are, what are your plans for the future? Are you doing more films? Are you uh, same kind, some, uh, new kind, uh, traditional, like, uh, documentary? I mean, what are you thinking about? Like, where else are you going from here as, like, an actor? Yeah, so I'm actually, I actually have an erotic short that I just directed and produced that is being um, packaged up and edited right now. And I'm planning to um, submit it to some erotic film festivals, but it's also um, the owner of shush.com screened it and it'll get, um, it'll go there when it's finished as well. So if you sign up for shush.com, you'll be able to get that eventually. And then I, I am booked or I've been cast in another film that they're going to be, putting together once um, the pandemic kind of calms down and we can film again safely. Um, and it will involve some singing on my part. So that'll be interesting. And then I also have another like big um, feature script that I'm writing 
that um, will be produced through shush.com. So that's really exciting. That's badass. It's a, it's a lot. That's a, that's a lot of things. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. It'll be over the course of, you know, the next like one to three years, depending on this pandemic. Oops. <laughs> yeah no shit yeah. It's, definitely, it's definitely a weird time and, and good time to release content i guess because like everybody's like just in a weird situation right now absorbing content you know? yeah absolutely it is um it is a, it's a very weird time people could focus on releasing their tensions a little more i think we'd be in a much better place <laughs> yeah i think we all do it on the internet we just like call each other idiots all the time. that's how we talk to people now it's like <laughs> yeah people need to come release it at shush.com <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious i'm slow as fuck i didn't even get what you're getting at until the, i'm like <laughs> until the sell point i'm like oh okay i see what you're going with it yeah we'll play there yeah. we'll play Go there, give them all your money. Watch this film 75 times in a row. Set, set a fucking record. Find out who watched this movie the most and see if you watch it the most times and contact Ripley. And like, <laughs> you, you could be innovative on top of innovation. Um, I don't know. Let me see what else we got here. Like, um, they sent me so much stuff. Like, I'm always just like, I'm always so nosy. And I was like, I'll read everything and stuff, but I won't. I just didn't have time to watch it. I wish I would have. I'm like a film nerd where I, I want to actually watch that shit before. But I have so many hours. Like, that's cool though. So, like, uh, that's just people need to watch this right now like stop what you're doing right now. stop watching this right now and then go watch this movie then come back to the exact part like that you're at right now and watch the rest of this interview and then <laughs> well now that you watched it thank you uh <laughs> i appreciate it like uh they, they enjoyed it i think everybody loved it uh it's the best the best film of all time you're welcome that's cool though so um I guess what did you, did you work at Shush before this or something or like is that what you're saying like uh, that's how you got into it? Yeah, I did a um, I've done some pieces, some like short vignettes for them before. Never a big feature like this, um, but um, it's always really fun um, to work with them because some of the other work I do is a little like more hardcore and in the BDSM genre. And so whenever I get to go over to shush.com, it's a lot more, um, it's just completely different in how you film it and how you, you know, prepare for it. It's just completely different. And it's a great experience um, to just be able to be a little more in the moment because the filming can be a little more um, natural and just, they, Basically, in your sex scenes, you can let them, you can go with it a little more um, naturally. So that becomes, a, that becomes a lot of fun when you're filming with like shush.com. I feel like you talk about doing like uh, sex scenes, like, like, like you're drinking tea. Like you're just like commented like a, like a table. You're just like, yeah, this is how it works. Like this is, <laughs> like, it's But crazy. I mean, like we all come out of vaginas. We're all products of sex. I don't, I've never... I've I've just kind of been one of these people. I've never subscribed to the mindset or the thought pattern that sex is icky or it's immoral and even celebrating it, filming it. You know, I film it and I can make I can use sexual themes creatively. It doesn't mean I'm going to, you know, fuck your husband or you know, like do like wear a slutty dress to church you know like it's Not just sure. like crazy that people are so like the sexual repression that happens in childhood here <laughs> is just insane and it follows people and i think a lot of marriages fail because people can't communicate sexually to each other they can't like it's it's weird for like you're saying it's weird for someone to just be talking about sex casually but I think it's, I, it's really breaks my heart that it can't just be an open conversation, even, and you can, you know, and I get respecting the boundaries with kids and everything, but I watch a lot of your, like you were saying earlier, um, like different societies, like over in Europe, I watch a lot of the European, I, you know, Sundance now is one of my favorite channels. <laughs> so I watch a bunch of European like sitcoms and and just like the way it's not like people are teaching fourth grade class, fourth grade kids how to give blowjobs or anything, but 
sex isn't, if it's brought up, it's not taboo. It's not, you know, and because of that, it's not ever thought of as taboo and it's respected. I don't, it's just, it kind of like just baffles me over here, but I've never really subscribed to that. And I mean, I have a PhD and I'm a scientist. I have a real job. This is not, you know, this is a real job too, but it's not my full-time job. And I think it's, you know, people, it's sad that people can't celebrate different aspects of people. You have to either, you have to be one thing. You have to be the scientist. You can't be, you can't be the porn actress and the scientist, you know? And I'm just, I'm not gonna let society tell me that at all. I'm not gonna let them decide for me what I can or cannot be. Um, but yeah, so it's, I don't know. Those are my thoughts. <laughs> no, it's super real. I think you made a lot of great points. I think that um, I, I think that you can be multiple things. I, I I think you're and like you're proving that as well. I think I think you could be like you could be a million things. You could be like a poet, a painter, or whatever the fuck. Yeah. I mean, you like a, a writer, a fucking like a laborer. You I mean, you could be a million things. Like I think that and I I love that aspect. Like that way we're not typecasting into the one thing you do for money, not not for passion, not for anything else. You know, no, I like that for sure. And then yeah, like absolutely. You nailed that with that, I think. And then, no, I agree. With, that definitely needs to be an adult conversation about sex. And, and, I, and I didn't mean it, like, in a way, like, it was weird. I meant it in ways, like, like it was just, like, you, you said it, like, almost like, I, like, it was like, a, I don't know how to describe it, but it was like. A, it was, I it was, get it, what you were saying, though. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, was, just that it's, you know, I get, I get it. I totally get it. For sure. No, it sounded like you did. Like, it made perfect sense. Like, what you said made perfect sense. Like, like that was, uh, no, there's a lot of great points in there. I think that was, that was uh, epic now. For sure, I'm glad to have you on the show to say stuff like that to people. I think it's great. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Um, well, do you want to throw out like social media or something or anything else? Because, because uh, I'll have the link to sh uh, the sh I'll have shush.com in the in the links uh, below you uh, below the video on YouTube and uh, in the links for, for that. And then um, look up Mirror Game. And then if you have a second movie out by the time you're listening, uh, what's the new movie? What's the next movie called? Like if they uh, if they still listen to us like, later. It hasn't, we haven't released a title yet. Okay, just search your name then. And <laughs> just keep searching it. And then, uh, but cool, yeah. And then uh, throw out any social media where you can be followed or anything you want to like, personally promote, I guess, like the end of it. Yeah, so if you want to follow me, you can go to jadextraextra.com and that'll point you everywhere. It'll point you to my Instagram, my Twitter, my OnlyFans. Um, out of my premium stuff, OnlyFans is the, where I'm most active and the best bet um but that's where you can find all that stuff it's awesome yeah uh we'll follow her watch her movies and see where she evolves as an actress in the future and uh thank you for coming on the show i appreciate it for real thank you so much no problem